I like to think of this time of the year as a Thanksgiving season, not just a day, but a whole season to realize again how incredibly grateful we are to God. It's a season filled with song and joy and laughter. And as we realize that, reading the prayer requests that come into positive Christianity, we also realize that many hearts are burdened and heavy at this time of the year. In the prayer ministry, Positive Christianity, we have many prayer requests from those needing comfort and needing strength. As we pray for peace and upliftment, we remember these words. Now, may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Even as we at Positive Christianity pray for our friends and send them encouraging, constructive words to affirm, to, to help them to find comfort and to find peace and a new sense of God's help, we also behold them filling their time and their world with good works. These good works can consist of any way they find to enter into life and give of themselves. I always talk about how important it is to be in service, not just in a mode where you're getting, 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 like the catcher in a baseball game catches a ball, no, you have to throw back. You have to give back. If there are those of you that you know that are in need of comfort and strength, the care and the prayers that you give of the love-filled heart can enfold them and help them invest their interest in the present moment and find in it the blessing of Christ. In 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 16, the Bible says, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times, in all ways. I pray today that your heart is filled with joy and song and laughter. I pray that you're established in every good work and word. And I pray for those that we are praying for, that they find the same.